Happy Halloween, guys, for Minimalist Bricks. Hopefully you like my sweater I'm wearing today. It has dogs and pumpkins and ghost costumes. It's pretty cool. Well, I'm here today to show you my little Lego tour, Halloween style. I usually put my Lego sets that I built on the shelves here, but every now and then during Halloween, Christmas, even Thanksgiving, mainly the big holidays, I can put some Lego sets around the house and it goes with the decor and it looks all kinds of awesome. So I'm here today to show you my Halloween Lego display. So follow me on this tour. Woohoo! So starting on this tour, you probably can see my dog. Hey, Archie. How's it going? He doesn't like that he hears, you know, people mowing outside, but let's turn the attention over to the entertainment stand. So I have the Lego Ideas Lighthouse on display and it's being taken over by some skeletons. I've always found lighthouses to be spooky in their own rights. And so I put some skeletons crawling up here on the lighthouse. They've kind of taken over and they are going into the house to control the lighthouse. Now, as you guys can see here, you know, it's pretty cool how at nighttime the light can go on and on and on. So I really like this as part of my Halloween display. Next, I got Vitamized Groot right here. Now, Vitamized Groot is pretty awesome, as you guys can see close up. I had to go all black just because the detailing, I think, is spookier than half black, half, you know, you know, not Vitamized Groot. So I had to put him right there. Then we have the mystery machine. There is Scooby-Doo in all of his glory with Shaggy and Fred. They are gonna go and investigate the lighthouse right here. I have the cat and mouse here and they made some other like, you know, seasonal displays, but this is one of my favorites just because I think, you know, I think of Tom and Jerry, I think the display is pretty cool. What are you doing in your bone? Yes, hi, hi. And right here, we got minifigure lane. So, I put all the minifigures that I collected that have costumes and I kind of made a mock of like this base plate, gray style base plate, and kind of made it into a street where it has pumpkins as kind of the lights, some trash cans, you can see some dogs right there. Oh, well, I had another dog in here. Oh. And then over here is my Disney side. I have the Hocus Pocus house right here. I just saw the movie recently and I have to say, I was actually surprised my grandfather really liked the movie considering that he doesn't really watch that many Disney movies. But one thing I will say about the Hocus Pocus house, it has some really cool features. You have, you know, the wheel right here that makes the light and the flames go up higher and higher. And then you can open the door and open it on the sides and you can open it from the roof panels, which is pretty cool. You know, that is one of the neatest features. So you don't have to kind of, you know, break down some walls. And when you look in closer, you see some of the skeletons just hanging from the cage. Maybe it's from the kids being eaten alive. And then we have, you know, their cauldron down there. So pretty cool if you have to ask me. Oh, if I can close it there. There we go. And then we have the retiring Haunted Mansion. You got an exclusive minifigure with this set. And if you know, you turn it around, you can kind of see more details hidden. So I really think it's a cool set. I'm not a huge micro scale fan, but for Halloween and a Disney lover, I kind of had to get it, if you had to ask me. Over here, we have the haunted house. I mean, this is Lego style right here, the Manor Von Baron. And you know, oh no, Tiago has died. Oh no. <laughs> you know, that was a cool little Lego hidden secret right there. But this has some really cool features. You have a door opening right here. You have a little drop sequence right there with the Lego minifigures going up, as you saw earlier in this video. Now, you can press the sign and you can light up right here. And I would open up some more, but as you guys can see here, to open it up, I have to have some more room. And unfortunately, on our piano display, we just don't have the room. But I just had to show you this other Lego Halloween set I had over here versus over there on the entertainment unit. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a safe and wonderful Halloween and I'll catch you guys in November. Talk to you later. Bye.